my to like over a hood. It didn't bark everybody. <laughs> I did not vlog when I was leaving home because I was in a hurry. I was being rushed. I was being forced to to finish what I was finishing. Uh, maybe maybe when we come down. Actually, it's, it's a carry them just in case. So yeah, um, we just got to Safina's. We're going to be headed out to Thingy. This is Khadija, looking lovely in that semi-leather checkered situation. <laughs> so yeah, so we're going to just pick them up and and also pick up some foodstuffs because it's what we're going to have for breakfast at the masjid. Everybody with their phones out. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying it in <laughs> Our other eat when we are out after two years of quarantine. I know, I mashallah, like, guys. I love Alhamdulillah, I can't believe. I honestly never thought that this day would come, so Alhamdulillah. We look cute. This is how you show up for me. Mashallah. No, you're not going to do that. I think I'm confused. I'm so nice. confused. <laughs> Okay, just real quick, I wanted to highlight something to do with children crying in the middle of Swala. So Anas ibn Malik reported that the Prophet wasallam said, Verily, I might begin the prayer and I intend to prolong it. But then I hear the crying of an infant. I will shorten the prayer as I know his crying will distress his mother. So therefore it is sunnah for the imam to make the prayer brief. If something happens during the prayer, that means one of the worshippers has to stop praying and stuff like that or distractions. Also, secondly, the scholars of Islam agreed that if a child is crying and his father or mother are unable to quieten him down during a congregation of prayer, then it is permissible to stop praying in order to quieten him down for fear that his crying may be because of some harm that has befallen him and for fear that the prayer of others may be spoiled because of the disturbance. If it is possible to quieten him down, like let's say if the mother doesn't have to turn away from the Qibla and is able to, you know, comfort their child then the woman may do that and get back to prayer but if it's impossible then she can stop the prayer to comfort their child so banange namba kubiriza nange ngane kubiriza tetulekerera bana muswala like tembaleka kukaba kulajana edini etukirizo kufayeri abana bafe so whether you're the guardian or the parent or the sister the brother and you have that baby in front of you and they are you know aching for comfort please give it to them Please give it to them because it is the way of Dean. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everybody! Welcome to Eid Vlog version 2, I think. Anywho, so today is technically not Eid, it is May 7th. However, Kukum is going to be celebrating Eid today. 
well we're going to be having a dinner to you know celebrate Eid because we didn't have one on the Eid day itself so I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me to Scarborough because that's where it's going to be going down we have so much food prepared my friends are going to be there everybody's excited Eid version 1 did not go so well I will have to sit down and fill you in on that but right now I cannot just real quick I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing so I am wearing Zahiz Haya okay I don't know if you can see this but let's try that angle yeah so this is what I'm wearing beautiful nice tool skirt and uh, I have a leather belt on and it's like a wrap thingy yeah, and then it has this nice simple embellishment and then I just added a little accent to my scarf also my scarf is from Zahiz Haya so <laughs> If you want to look like this, rich anti vibes. Uh, just real quick, I've been getting so many questions about the store. It is located in Uganda, Kampala, at uh, Kochi Tower, which is like Uganda Road. I think it's across CPS, the Central Police Station, somewhere along there. So, yeah, I will leave details below in the video in case you want to, you know, check out the store and see if you want to get anything. But this is how we are looking. I'll insert better clips of the outfit, probably. I don't know. Okay. Otherwise, I hope you do enjoy this vlog and I hope you guys have had a beautiful Ramadan and even had a more beautiful Eid. And I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. guys um Eden Barak again I can't get tired of saying that because I'm just so excited so I just felt there's something I had to share um, earlier this week on Eid like the actual Eid day Monday I lost my camera in the most most I don't know cruel way possible and Alhamdulillah right everybody you know reminded me to say Alhamdulillah it was Allah's will you know it was meant to be like that and stuff like that it's just the way I lost it still was painful <laughs> you get what I mean like I do accept that it was you know Allah's plan and he's is the best plan always it's just it doesn't mean it hurt any less you get what I'm trying to say but anyway I was so heartbroken you guys I was so heartbroken I fell sick literally that's why I sound the way I sound right now but um, the reason I'm sharing this is by the end of that day my friends while they had eat, eat lunch on downstairs because I was upstairs crying my eyeballs out while they were having while they were having at lunch they were literally putting money together to buy me the camera I'm holding right now. 
because they knew the details of my camera and they ordered me the same exact camera the same exact everything like because uh when i did have my camera previously it came with this deal of two sd cards and two batteries and whatever anyway they just made sure that i got the exact same thing but that was literally by the end of that day and i cannot even express just how grateful i am i'm not one to cry you know i'm not i'm not one for tears but <laughs> you guys thank you so much I'm gonna ruin my makeup for you and the party hasn't get started so hell no but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody um, you guys you need friends like mine you need friends like mine because I do not know what I'd do without you um, and I'm grateful I can't thank you enough what there's no words to say it's just what I'm trying to say is monday is when i actually realized that my friends know just how important this is to me how youtube is important to me how you know they just they understand and they understand on a level that i didn't actually know that they did so it was just i was taken you know aback by their action of kindness and <clears throat> thank you thank you so much i think <laughs> Every single time I'm going to hold my camera up to record, I'm just going to think of that. And thank you. Thank you guys. Like, thank you for loving this and loving me, you know, just as much as I love it. And there's nothing I can do to repay you. But I pray that Allah keeps all of you in my life and keeps me in yours. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy that I have a camera now so we can continue our YouTube aspirations. But guys, YouTube is important to me. I just didn't know how important it was until I lost my camera on Monday. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you take a brief moment right now to subscribe to this channel and like and comment and go watch our other videos because right now we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers and yeah, for YouTube to take me, you know, seriously and bring me into the youtube program i need to achieve 1000 subscribers so please in case you've been thinking it's something so light i need you to subscribe thank you so much thank you to my friends um thank you for it enabling me first of all they actually encouraged me to start youtube you know because they always knew i wanted to do this thank you for pushing me towards this and thank you for allowing me to continue on this journey i cannot thank you guys enough in case there's background noise guys i'm so sorry but Thank you and please subscribe. Okay. Whenever someone stands up that is where I stop to question everything. Guboyo get denze bang in a kukiza. Ebinava mu wamusangu be alu. I always tell people. as i mentioned earlier the luncheon on saturday was hosted by kukum and kukum in full is canadian united community for ugandan muslims so in a nutshell um the chairperson here was communicating about the masjid program we are trying to fundraise for a masjid so please do feel free to visit the website as i've uh, written it on the screen here and you may donate as you're able to any amount will be very very welcome guys please be reminded that whoever builds a masjid here on earth Allah builds a home for them in jannah inshallah i also wanted to take you know a brief moment just to appreciate whoever managed to contribute to the Insan Foundation and um, Strive for Jannah, which are the two foundations I mentioned at the beginning of Ramadan that I normally work with and donate to. 
So I just wanted to mention to, you know, whoever is out there and they managed to donate this Ramadan. Thank you so much. Barakallahu feekum. Both foundations were able to uh, buy packages and hampers and unfussed Muslims in Uganda in, you know, the places that they needed it the most. I pray Allah accepts our sadaq and is pleased with our deeds and rewards us, you know, abundantly. Hi, everybody. We are finally back home. Uh... So, yay! I've never been happier. Meanwhile, I forgot to mention, when I was on my drive heading over to Scarborough, I was so sleepy because we barely got enough rest last night uh, when we were prepping for the day. But, alhamdulillah, it was beautiful. Um, it was lovely. There was so much food, so much food. Um, and partially because the celebration was on the other side of town and you know not everybody can get there and you know on saturday people have still have work they have shifts but alhamdulillah and thank you for everybody that came out thank you for everybody that helped put this event together and make it a success mashallah uh, it just turned out really great I'm just so sweaty. I, I just really want to shower, honestly. Guys, in the morning when I was cooking, guess what happened? I put in the two uh, pressure cookers in, in the socket and like literally half of my house lost power. Like the sockets, the lights on the other side of the house are not working. So I'm supposed to, you know, get the building maintenance to check in, to look into it come monday inshallah yeah i don't know why that happened otherwise um right now as i'm recording this i do not know if i'm going to have footage from monday in here and whatever because like i mentioned the camera got lost or rather i lost it <laughs> it didn't get it didn't get lost on its own i lost it but i did not know because i did have some footage on my phone so i don't know if i'll incorporate some footage from that day in here but it was beautiful um mashallah we woke up and we were ready to slay my friends looked lovely they looked amazing and you know they still showed up today as usual you know we, we slay that's what we do i'm so sleepy i don't know if you realize so i'm going to stop mumbling right now and i'm going to end this vlog here so that i can go have a decent shower a nice warm bath and pray my isha and go to bed but before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you for coming to the end of this vlog. If you did, only if you did and did not fast forward. If you did, go back and watch everything. <laughs> Anywho, but thank you for coming to the end of the vlog. I hope you did enjoy it, that you did like it. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up below. Feel free to comment. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. So let's do this, okay? Help a girl out. I need this. I am so <laughs> yes, that's my friend. I'm having a sleepover. So have a good night. Stay blessed. Stay happy. Stay beautiful. Stay gorgeous. Stay golden. I love you. We all need to surround ourselves with people that make us better. Like the people that encourage us to do better to be better people that encourage us to they don't just tell you that the sky is the limit but they tell you, you can't even go beyond that you need to surround yourself with people that are kind people that are generous and friendship is a two-way street you know and what you give is what you receive and with my friends i want to say i receive even more they're literally my canadian family and i'm just always going to be so grateful that's it I pray Allah grants you guys friends like mine. <laughs>